Jim Caviezel stars as an alien in Outlander. It's an epic historical sci-fi thriller shooting in Nova Scotia. Of course, we hit the set to check out all the action. I play a character called Freya, who is the daughter of King Rothgar, played by John Hurt, and she's a Viking princess. Well, I'm, I'm playing uh, the, the king of a Viking society, really which is going very happily along as a Viking society in its own way until certain things happen and uh, we get visited by somebody who comes from another planet. The story is about um, Kanan, uh, a gentleman from another planet who um, crash lands on Earth during the reign of the Vikings and is captured by a wonderful, beautiful young Viking prince. Uh, no, he's, um, I capture him. Wolfric, my character, um, captures him and takes him back as um, prisoner to the village and um, we find out uh, that with him he's brought a Morwen, which is this alien beast, um, which he describes as a dragon because that's the closest thing we can come to describe it and we all think he's full of shit to begin with. And um, slowly we realise uh, that he is telling the truth and we team up and we go and try to kill it. Jim Caviezel does play a good alien, yeah. No, he's, um... He's great, it's perfect casting really. It's cold. Cold the mud. We're tired, tired. sleep. Tired. Yeah, Black but, but it, you know, when you work on a, a, a project like this, it's going to be, you know, good, it's, it's worth it. And Jim's used to suffering. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't, I don't know this what you're talking easy about. compared to the well, Passion of the Christ, yeah. what you told me on that. <laughs> Spent a month up on a freezing cross and got hypothermia. Yeah, yeah, well, and yeah. got struck by lightning. Jim seems to pick projects where they're tough. They're demanding. I think a comedy is in due order here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not funny though. I mean, don't tell anybody that. I might not get another job like this again. No. He's a very funny guy. Being a Viking is fun. Um, it's also very cold. Especially being a Viking in some of these costumes in maritime Nova Scotia, this time of year can be <laughs> a bit testing. Um, lots of goosebumps, definitely. But um, no, it's great fun. Freya really is, you know, one of very, very few women in the village, so from that point of view, it's been fabulous. I've just been surrounded by good-looking men for three months, so um, I think it's been great. The challenges, uh, 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 well, I suppose there's lots. Obviously, sword training, horse riding, archery, which I was awful at. I've got one take where I'm doing this big, like, ready! Hey! I do an arrow, I'm like, fire! I let go down and just falls. Great, that's my character to a T. For me, I would say the biggest challenge has been the physical aspect of it, because I am such a lazy, lazy person by nature. I could easily sit on the couch all day and do nothing. Um, and my character is a, she's a warrior, she's a fighter. So we've there's been a lot of hours on the treadmill, um, lots of hours learning to wield a sword and shield, um, lots of bruises as well, um, and lots of pulled muscles. So that's, that's, been a, that's been a challenge for me physically. I realise how much of a weed I am, having been working on this one. But, um, but apart from that, you know, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's all fun. It's good. Actually, we're really feeling the whole Viking thing right now because you're in this big banquet hall, the shield hall, which is, you know, this sort of will be with the, uh, uh, on top of when they put the roof on and see CGI and stuff like that, it will be this sort of vast space filled with like this massive oak tree and tables and food and pigs and cow heads and all that stuff and drunk women and men grabbing asses and all the rest. So that's good. Today we're shooting a huge um, shield dance. Um, it's the first time that Jim Caviezel's character, Kanan, has actually been kind of accepted within our society. It's like this game, a Viking game called Shields, where um, uh, basically a bunch of drunk Vikings grab the closest shield to them, put it on their shoulder, and I, being stupid, and uh, the magic of movies, uh, we manage to run around on the shields, forwards, backwards, and then flip on the shields. It's quite interesting, there's lots of stunts, lots of wire work, and it's very complicated. I just have to sit next to John Hurt on a throne the whole night, so I'm happy as Larry and I have to do anything. Audiences can expect sexy Vikings, um, fantastic scenery, lots of really amazing fights, a um, little bit of romance, and some good humour as well. I mean, it's the whole package. I mean, it's period drama, it's science fiction, it's romance, it's... You know, it's a great script.
great script. You don't read scripts like this very often, so first time I sort of got to the bit where it says um, the alien mothership arrives on planet Earth. I was like, what? Wow. Whoa, that looks crazy.